I think he works over in PNG, six okay. on, two off or something. But he's loving. He's fishing every afternoon, just straight out in the banana boat with him and Stu. And wow. and then my other brother, he'll be coming up with a maid and uh, best day. That's great. Good. So it's what do you name it, or is it an enduro that they put on and you host it? What'd you say? Like a yeah? Is it the grief enduro? Yeah, it's the grief. How dog. did I not know about this? <laughs> yeah, well, it happened so quickly because. Um, extreme karting every month they do a big enduro and sponsors can jump on board so like they really love the local businesses jumping on and calling it like the cool bar tree cafe yep. um, enduro so we jump on and you can do your own logo and your own name for it and we call call this one the grief gold coast 250 because it goes for 250 kilometers and um yeah you jump on and you just give them a few vouchers for the podiums and stuff and it's a good, great way to promote local businesses so big time it's the finest day ever sounds like the person running that's a good oh. that was a one that was a that was Le Mans or no nah, Le, Le Mans Ma- track for yeah no? Le Mans is out that way oh. but instead of turning right to head down to them you head straight out towards Jacob's Well and they got this big sporting facility out oh. there you can even race these uh, that's not where Morris's um, performance holds uh, nah the Holden driving no I'm not sure where that one is might could okay. be close to it but, uh, yeah, Extreme Karting's got a dirt track now. You can take, take hire carts out on dirt tracks. and I didn't even know this existed, mate. Oh, uh, you should check it out. It's amazing. It's top of the line. Like, even the facility inside, like the timing equipment and everything's – like, Jeff and Ian, they've done a top yeah. job, yeah. I took my um, son, again, you know, to uh, slideway or sideways go-karts oh, yeah. at Narang. yeah. And they're, they're constantly, you know, sideways. They've got this great tar- mm. Like I don't know what they put on the thing, but yeah, it's that like was plastic good. Man. Yeah. yeah, like... Yeah, our little go-kart of Lockie use, he heads to sideways a bit and yeah. Yeah, smashes it since he's pretty much a pro <laughs> go-kart. Right? But yeah. yeah, no, he enjoys it cool. there too, just sideways. and So I, I th- had the feeling that they were co-owned by the same company. That's why I bought them up now. I was like... Uh, yeah. Yeah, there's a few Maybe that's they don't. Maybe. Up, like there's even game over now. Yeah. It's a bit further up, but I don't know. I've been to a few others, but extreme Game over's karting. electric. Oh, They're all it? electric carts, yeah. Shit. I don't think I'll go. I don't have as much mumbo, <laughs> I yeah. like the smell of fuel. Just, whoa, yeah, 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 yeah. Gets the adrenaline going and extreme karting is 1.6 kilometres, like the big track oh, outside. So damn. Good. You get in the slipstream behind other carts and you pick up a few extra Ks and it's pretty Real intense thing. when you're a few inches off the ground. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Brilliant. You should come out. Sun, uh, Saturday, we're going out for a practice run before the enduro. Really? Yeah. So are you saying the enduro is this Sunday? Yeah, yep. This Sunday? Yeah. Jeez. Oh, kids party. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. <laughs> Two kids parties on the one day I've got. Oh, no. Oh, well, maybe on Saturday, I reckon. They come out, they they got like 10-minute sessions, and we're just going out for like a 10-minute, you get like six or seven laps. and. So it's a normal Saturday, You can anyone could go along. Yeah, and... closed in shoes. Oh, you can wear shorts and a singlet. Right. They've got helmets. So I'll give you a buzz before I head out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, save, save me your, your best time too. Yeah. Yeah, I get real competitive with that stuff. I just love, <laughs> I just love it. You know, not real competitive, but, yeah. you know, must be. Like, yeah. you know, we want to know. You know? Yeah, that's it. I love that stuff. And that's why I love the timing and stuff. Like, yeah. it's great. You get emailed all your times from every lap and everything when you sign up and... It's great. So you're like, oh, yeah, I got a bit better, but I, something went wrong in this lap. <laughs> so, oh, Excellent. I love it. It's bloody good. Anything with fuel, it's freaking amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Dirt bikes. BMX is awesome, but too unfit to properly pursue that. <laughs> oh, dirt bikes. Uh, BMX. BMX yeah, yeah. yeah, man, that's real hard. Uh, too much pedaling. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Well, who was I talking to this morning? Someone. I went to Chugan Skate Park on the weekend. Yeah. And I don't have a great skateboard, but I've just got a little plastic sort of thing. We're just, just rolling around. Oh, yeah. And, man, getting this old, it's like some <laughs> days you wake up absolutely perfect and get on the skateboard, and, yeah, I'm feeling really good, feeling loose. And then on the weekend, I was just like, every movement I had, I had like a sore back. <laughs> like, you know, I've started to evaluate it. Like, this is yeah, what should... getting old is all about. Yeah. Like, so when it comes to BMX, uh, skateboard, that's – you can just – I don't feel like it. Look, yep. <laughs> <laughs> and man, that, that, that jump looks too high. Yeah. Crazy stuff. Yeah. Tell me about grief. Hey, Tell me about um, 
Uh, the last time we spoke was on a different podcast show, Pulse Expression. Yeah, yeah with yep. Steve Dart. Yeah, and and I remember you were just bringing out some new gear. I think. Yeah, yeah, we launched that. We've had great buddy response to that and everything. And yeah, but that was a bit of a soft launch, like just a few new T designs. We got the stubby coolers now, and um, sure do got one right now. Yeah, <laughs> and then um. Uh, at the moment, we're planning to bring fishing shirts, motocross jerseys, um, board shorts. We've got all that. It's just getting the best quality because we've got to source out the best. And then coming up the right designs is the always the fun part, which is good. And is that your yeah your passion? Like you two and your brother from memory? Yeah, Perhaps me and both my brothers, Jay and Ryan. Okay. And they that's what's good. Like some days... I'm trying to come up with new designs or promotions or marketing and you just headbutt the wall when you're by yourself. But when you have two brothers that are on the same level, you grew up together, they love all the sports we're involved with and you just, like, it gets the ideas flowing and that's yeah. no, great. So we've got some big things planned this yeah, year. Yeah, and they so. might be influenced through something they saw in Papua New Guinea or, yeah. like, you know, yeah. like this and this and this. That's a good team. That's great. Yeah, and Ryan's always taking – like clothing we got lying around and caps and stuff and giving it to the locals in PNG and they just froth on it too. So brilliant. Yeah, it's good. That's a cool thing. That's a cool thought to know that your your stuff is in other countries. Yeah, right? yeah. It's bloody amazing. Like we sell worldwide. So yeah, we've got heaps of stuff in the UK, US, Canada, New Zealand. I was about to say Tasmania, but that's Australia. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. And um yeah, no, we just we always just want to have fun. If we get too serious with it, yeah, um, yeah it, it takes the fun out of it then. And although I would like to make a really good living off it, but at the end of the day, it's yeah, have fun. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, just had a oh, conversation with another label just down <laughs> the, and and I was talking about selling offshore. There was a certain time where uh, it was the same for him. For him to sell a whole lot of lot of stuff, it's a massive step. Yeah. Like right now it's very comfortable. Like he can just sell this amount of product. People buy it at this price. So he only needs to purchase a thousand of these. Oh, I'm making this stuff up. But yeah. <laughs> yeah. to take that step <laughs> offshore, yeah. when you're, especially if you're working alone, you, I guess it's good with your, your brother's all in on it as well. You've got extra minds to nut it out. Yeah, yep. But yeah. it's a huge step. Like, you know, look at the sign shop that we're sitting in right now. Like, mm. it's going great. Yeah. But yeah. it could be a whole lot more, but we could a whole lot more busy and have to pay extra staff and all this weird stuff. And yeah, is that great? That's the question. Well, that's it. And, um, yeah, the way we're growing, we're growing organically. We're not, we're not tied in with, like, debt or all this kind of stuff. So it is a bit slower growing process, but it's all natural and it makes it less stressful. As yeah. soon as you get a loan, you're paying it back and all that. and Then stress. Yeah, and stress kills you. Like, yeah, and if infighting because of that stress. And yeah. Like, what that, are you buying that for? Yeah, no. buddy. <laughs> yeah, that's good to be not in debt for that. That's Yeah, good. yeah, so it's, buddy, yeah, we purely don't want to stress and get angry, and especially with brothers. Like, you have your days where you fight and stuff, but we all get along like House and Fire. Like, we just went camping up at Barumba Dam. Just all three of us, just away from everything, just took the boat out there, tried to get some Saratoga and whatnot, but it just poured down with rain and you just Damn. plug it on the dam and it feels like pinpricks and you're yeah. still just cracking up. But um, oh, You've got that great boat. Yeah, we've yeah. got a few. Oh, not <laughs> we. My brothers <laughs> yeah. have got a few. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, my brother's he has got a big deep sea boat yeah. and then... My younger one, he's got two bass boats. You just got a new one that's getting all painted, redecked. Like this thing's going to be a bass king. <laughs> wow. So, um, yeah, we got all sorts of boats for every situation. Really, Brilliant. yeah, Brilliant. it's awesome. But yeah, that's hey, what school did you go to? Uh, South Grafton High. Okay. Yeah, I grew up down in a little rural town, and then I moved up here probably uh, eight or nine years ago. So. Yeah, I love it up here. <laughs> and Grafton is kind of close, like two and a half hours. I can yeah. see friends and family and go fishing a lot. So Yeah, they fixed that road finally. Oh, yeah, yeah. but 
every time they fix one, like they got the Bo- Byron Bay pass done, and that's pretty good. But then just down near Ballon, and now they're starting. I know what another one are they? Yeah, so now it's back down to eighty k's there, and you. Like, this is never ending. <laughs> never ending. <laughs> Although it's, it's good once it's done, but yeah. All right. Uh, but yeah, we got lots of things planned. So when you Big sell products, um, when you okay, here's <laughs> a here's a question, right? That that I um, I'm not going to say the name. Yep. But it's a big big label we know that are popular, but they're cool popular. Yep. <laughs> but it's also sold in City Beach now. Oh, okay. And it's kind of like uh, I asked Paul Everest from Unit, yep. right, who's now in Art X Youth. Yeah. Art. Yeah. Yep. Would you, you know what I mean? W- would you sell your stuff in Kmart? You know, like, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like I remember um, when I was really young, I'm that old, like that Mango. It used to be Billabong and Mango. Yep. Right. And now, uh, like, they sell Mango in – it's probably not in the same brand, but you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yep. this huge label that was cool in the day, you know, and I'm, I yeah. want to say other labels, but I'm not. But yep. there's a time when they end up being in the city beaches and the, or then even in uh, something as huge as Kmart. Or, yeah. It's a bad, bad yep. example. You're kind of like, okay, you're going to make a lot of money, but then the brand is stuffed because it's not cool anymore. Am yeah, I right? it kind of – Gets a bit stale sometimes. Like Loose Kid Industries, they're gone in City Beach, but not a, in a big way, but they're s- still kind of killing it. Yep. But see, we, everyone I talk to, all my mates and that, they're like, oh, when are you going to get into City Beach? Are you chasing people up? I'm like, to be honest, it's not the top of my priority. First of all, like we sell heap online at events and we've got a few retailers around Australia. And we appro- we'd love to get into more retailers as you do. But there's, we've got other priorities to try and build our brand. Like we want to host more events, sponsor more events. And City Beach, at the end of the day, if they approached us, we'll negotiate and see how we go. Because obviously at the end of the day, you, you do want to make a bit of money to keep the business going. But, yeah, if we can keep it low key, have, still yeah. have a real good name for ourselves, yeah. what, you, what you need really. And, and that's what I thought. Like, and then the people's perception... Yeah, the, uh, people who you don't know, who don't even know you and your brand, like go, oh, grief, you know, that must mean they're another offshoot of Villabong or something, yeah. you know, and um, the day it disappears from the city beach stores yeah. is the day that the label may die because they don't become cool anymore. You know what I mean? You, you want to support yeah. grief. Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Because they're these dudes you can relate to, you saw them down the bike track, you know, yeah. you're, yeah. you're that you'll grow up with them is what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? And to and if they end up in the racks at Kmart, it's like, well, that's not cool anymore. Like you can't wear it. You know, yeah. You know, I, I, maybe it's a window into my mind. Oh, but, no. I've, <laughs> but your own personal brand ends up. Yeah, I could never go to Kmart and all that. <laughs> <laughs> all that <stuff. laughs> like when Krusty Demons brought, like they brought their own kind of brand out and stuff and said, oh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Like they're a great show, great uh, videos and that I watched from the very first one, but then you, I think they went in Kmart or Target. Yeah. I think yeah. Target was the one, and I was just like, oh, see, I would, I was like, I won't even get my kid that. <laughs> yeah, that means something. Like, yeah, well, yeah. I'll, I'll still buy the DVDs and all that, but yeah, yeah it just it changes that whole outlook of your kind of brand. Yeah, so. you're not a part of something anymore. It's like, yeah. oh, geez, anyone could be. You know, yeah, it does. Someone's mum's buying it for someone. <laughs> yeah, they have no it. idea about bikes, you know. Oh, that's it. That was Somebody. mad in the days, man. Yeah. Like, you know, to have a metal militia sticker on the back of that that <laughs> white Hilux you. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Yeah, all the metal militia. It's got to come back. The yeah. government has to relax that stuff. Oh, yeah. We need to have some lowered utes again. <laughs> yeah, the mini trucks. <laughs> yeah, they're, oh, why not? Jeez. Yeah, you don't see them around as much nah, anymore. Just stock four wheel drive utes. Jeez. Yeah, buddy, I remember my brother had a little Hilux. He put some yeah. tough blocks in it to lower it down yeah. a bit and yeah, it was yeah. rough as shit on the <laughs> bumps, but you're just like, yeah, this is sick. It looked cool. <laughs> it was just a uh, good space of two years where everyone had them. Yeah. And but little, n- now like, I'm in like a full drive yet. I'm like, oh, I don't think I could go back to a low yet <laughs> again. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All right, so what, what other events? Uh, Last got, time we spoke, you did some mad thing with um, a big slide. Oh, yeah, last year's Australia Day, uh, not the, yeah, 2015 one, um, went down to a 
local Woolai, like where everyone goes to the beach from Grafton down there and across the river.